Today we're going to talk about updating the waterproof shuttle firmware. If you're not sure if your shuttle is eligible for the firmware update, let's go to the status menu in Hoboware Pro. Here we know our firmware version for the shuttle attached is 3.0.5. The current version is 3.0.9, so we do need to update this shuttle. If you have uh, release number uh, 3.0.7, you cannot update this way, so you'll have to contact the technical support uh, staff at Onset Computer Corporation. There are a couple things that you will need while updating the firmware on the waterproof shuttle. The first thing is the firmware and drivers for the for the waterproof shuttle. We can get those by going to onsetcomp.com. Go to support firmware updates. Scroll down till you see waterproof shuttle and download this file here. Shuttle boot utilities V309 release. What I just did here is I unzipped these files to our my C drive here so we will be able to obtain those later. One other thing you'll need for this machine is administrative rights. You will be able or need to be able to uh, write to your C drive uh, and have uh, local uh, save uh, capabilities. Here I'm going to show you how to disassemble the waterproof shuttle. First, remove the coupler. Set that aside for now. Second, remove this O-ring. Then we need to remove the shuttle cap. You may have to use a pair of channel locks. Sometimes these get pretty tight. The next thing we need to do is remove the batteries from the circuit board inside, so we just have to pull this out. Remove both batteries. Then we need to put this board back inside the case. We need to have the case on there for this to work properly. Be sure when putting this in here, Put them right back within those grooves. And then we're going to need the coupler back on here because we need to activate the reed switch internally here. Now, with the shuttle all apart and back together with no batteries. I'm going to show you how to connect it to the computer so we can begin the firmware update. The first thing we need to do is we need to hold down the coupler lever. At that point, once that is squeezed down, we can insert the USB and release. Now we should see this blinking sequence you might see the red light blinking as well, but as long as we see a flashing OK or uh, an OK transfer uh, switch blinking pattern, we should be good to go. If you see the OK and transfer light blinking back and forth, uh, most likely we already have the drivers for this installed, and then we can just proceed with the firmware update. But since we only have the blinking OK light, we know we need to install the drivers. So uh, let's go back to the PC and I'll show you how to do that.
Okay, we're back here at the PC. Now we need to make sure that we install this from a, a list uh, or a specific location. Uh, so let's make sure we have this here. Click Next. We're going to go ahead and browse for that location. Now if you remember, we stored that in our C drive, so directly on the hard drive here. So let's go there. We're going to find this file here. It's the Shuttle Boot Utility V309. Let's expand this here. Now we're going to go to PC, expand that menu. Now let's open this, expand the MCHPUSB driver folder. Now select the release folder and the driver is contained within that folder. Click next. Okay, here's click here, click on the finish button. All right, now we're actually ready to update the firmware on the waterproof shuttle. So let's navigate to, if you follow me here, my computer. Remember, we saved all this information on our C drive. Find the shuttle boot utilities V309 folder. Now in here, we're going to go back into the PC folder. And we're going to go into, let's see here, the PDF SUSB folder. Now in here we want to open up this uh, little ex executable here. This is actually going to allow us to program the firmware here. First thing we have to do is we need to activate the device we have. Now we need to load in the hex file. So we have to then go back and browse for that file and I'll show you where that is. Shuttle hex, highlight there, hit open. And now what we can do is we can hit the program device button. Which takes just a few seconds. Perfect, the programming flash completed. So we are okay to go. Uh, we can actually execute, or excuse me, uh, X out of all these programs here. Uh, and probably the best thing to do at this point is to remove the device from the computer, the waterproof shuttle, make sure we remove that. Insert the batteries back in and then let's check it in Hoboware to make sure that we do have version 3.0.9. Okay, now we're back here in Hoboware Pro. And what we want to do is to make sure the firmware did update on a waterproof shuttle. So let's go to the status menu. And here we go, firmware version 3.0.9. Perfect. Now, you may see here the shuttle clock is off from the computer clock by a certain amount of time. All you have to do to get around that is simply launch the shuttle. And we are done here. Perfect. Um, now, keep in mind, uh, if you do have firmware version 3.0.7, this can't be done this way. Uh, in that case, you want to contact Onset Computer's technical staff. Um, also, if you have any questions regarding this, feel free to contact them as well.